evening everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of Haunted Scouts where tonight we're on the Wirral, we're on my side and behind the sits a building that's been here for well over 180 years. It was previously used as accommodation but now it sits as a Masonic Lodge. Yeah we're on the historic Clifton Road estate guys. Now they started building this back in the early 1800s. Some of the biggest houses over on this side of the water. With the economic crash of the late 1840s everything came to a halt. But one of the oldest standing buildings is behind us and we've got one night to go and investigate so let's see what we can find. Doors closed, and in we are. So, I'll spin this round. It's warm. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took a few takes doing that, didn't it? Well, yeah, we're here. We're in uh, uh, yeah, Clifton Road, and uh, in this absolutely fantastic Masonic Lodge that we've been uh, invited into. Um, I had a few uh, messages with the guys and they wanted someone to come in because they're looking at sort of opening the, the venue up to the paranormal uh, as many places are starting to do yeah, now to see are. it is an extra uh, sort of source of revenue and they wanted uh, two experts to, uh, to come and film an episode and that, that's why we're here. So yeah, They couldn't make it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had, to, uh, <laughs> they had to get settled for us. but. I would uh, say that where we are on the, what was known as the, the, the Villa Estate, uh, as Chris was saying before, in the, in the 18, 1840s, this was sort of uh, starting to be built up. Um, it was uh, Captain, Captain Sharp, it was, a retired sailor who came over and bought all the land and uh, had sort of a, a dream and a vision for, for what, this, uh, what this could have been, but the, uh, the economic crash unfortunately sort of quashed it, but you know, we had um, Mr. Hornblower, um, who is a, a very well-known person uh, around here, uh, Lord uh, Birkenhead, uh, and even up the road in Elm Grove, uh, the famous war poet Wilfred Owen was uh, was around here as well. So it's uh, it was uh, at one point quite an affluent area. Yeah, I kind of get the impression, guys, if they'd have finished his vision over on our side, we've got Sefton Park and all the grand houses all around it, and that parkland in the middle. That was the vision, it's such a shame, but yeah. um, but let's face it, the houses are big enough, they didn't do too bad out of it. Yeah, but yeah so we're just in the, in the first room now, I'll just spin you around so you can sort of have a little... I'll, uh, I'll just shut this door yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so we have got the, the REM pods just in the middle of the floor there. There's a few cat balls just dotted around. I can't even remember where I put them. I've also got one of my famous bits of kit here, which is a, a lovely grand piano, which hopefully 
fingers crossed, uh, we hear any notes on it, it will yeah. have you get me all excited. Like I have. Yeah. There you go. And there's a cat ball on there as well. Um, so yeah, we'll maybe just start now, do a bit of calling out and sort of see uh, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Let me swing it around onto the onto the young one. I'll try not to stand on the cat ball because I have no, no idea where he's put them. There's definitely not on the floor, there's one one just on the side there. Uh, they put them off off the uh, floor level. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully anyway, because um, we don't sort of know too much about the haunting of the building because um, we're told them not to tell us because um, we are the very first team to actually come in here and investigate so there's been no paranormal investigations here before so this is a first to the building and um, yeah I think I feel quite privileged to be invited to do, to do that and be part of that and um, speak to some of them the only sort of stories I've heard or they've sort of whispered to me is sort of on this level there's been noises, whistles, shadow figures been seen, certain rooms where I've just had the yeah that room, yeah that room so that's where we sort of put lock off cameras um, but you probably would have heard in the voiceover anyway that Chris would have done uh, all the information about the building and the horns because we've told him to tell us that after. So it'll be good to sort of see what we get tonight kind of marries up with uh, with what they're, they're going to tell us. So it's good going on blind, isn't it, sometimes? And exactly, that's the thing. And, and it does, it stops people being able to accuse you of, uh, oh, right, okay, you know, why have you put the rent pod there? Well, purely because it's the middle of the room. There we go, right on cue, thank you. So you are listening. <laughs> but quite literally, the REM pod is there because it's in the middle of the room. I think it's in the middle of the room. I think it's in the middle of the room. I think something else that really sort of excited me about tonight was just thinking about uh, about the the Masons and Joe how sort of the, the secret society and how all is a bit of a, a bit of a mystery and, and this that and the other and, and then taking my mind back to one of the places that we've done that did have the history of the Masons being there was Walton Hall. It was Hall. indeed, yeah. And that's probably been one of our best sort of locations, uh, and one of our favourite locations as well. And we haven't sort of done any other buildings like that until tonight. So I'm fingers crossed, open that it will be sort of on par, if not even better, than the Morton Hall. Yeah, exactly. I'll look forward to the bit where you think someone else has come in the building and there's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the lock-off camera in one of the temples upstairs, the thermal tracker reacts followed by some strange knocks from within this sealed room. So literally, I've just been sat on the other side of there. Again guys, that REM pod's probably reacting to the fact we've opened the door. Yeah. So we've affected the temperature of that room. Yeah, I think it's uh, obviously a little bit quieter on this level, so I'm quite looking forward to going sort of down into uh, what would have been the original accommodation of the building and maybe yeah, exactly. just start an S-Box or something down there. Yeah, I mean, as I'll, I'll click to the camera now, I'll, I'm still talking, guys. We've had the camera running down there for a good three quarters of an hour as well, so 
again with these lock offs, you guys may have already seen stuff. If you haven't, oh, if you have, brilliant, because you know what we're walking into and we don't. <laughs> That's the good thing about setting up the lock offs before we walk in there. But, uh, but yeah, definitely time to, uh, to go and you know, shake a few air spirits up and use an S box. Shake a few spirits up. <laughs> and then hit that one for a while. That's in the middle, I like that. There's a t shirt there. How do you like your spirit to shake and not stare? <laughs> As we made our way downstairs to the basement area, the lock-off camera appeared to capture a female whimpering in the same temple room. Is a rem pod down here? Yeah. Can you have a rem pod? There's a rem pod up that one. The temperature's still up on there. Yeah, so the lights have gone off now. You'll hear a bit of background noise, obviously the stuff for, for the bar is uh, is down here but there's a lot of uh, sort of original features uh, of the building that we will show you. Um, there is a light that's on a sensor that will probably come on uh, in a moment but I think maybe just uh, obviously drowning that out actually and doing an S-Box might, uh, might actually work. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We'll just maybe just stick in this part and we'll just walk up and down and the light comes on, the light comes on, doesn't it? Right, before we start the S-Box guys, what we thought we'd do is come into here. Now, you know, massive thanks to the lodge for giving us permission to, we literally said just leave doors open where we can go and then, you know, we know we're not here, we're not intruding. But where we are here is some of the boxes of, of members of the lodge and, and some of them are like some of the oldest boxes in the lodge itself now we're not going to focus on you know the names on them and things like that because we primarily we want the evidence to speak for itself but it will be interesting once we finish the s box to have a little review of ourselves and just see if maybe we did get anything through or whether we get told to get out which is happens mm. a lot lately because we may not be wealthy we're not members i like that obviously we're we're near a lot of this exposed brickwork as well which would have been yeah. all original so exactly it's always good to get down the foundation of the original floor mm -hmm. as well right you ready right okay guys so let's just go straight in with the s box I'm about to put a device on now, it's like a radio. If there are any spirits down here, whether you used to live down here or whether you used to be part of the lodge, please come through and speak to us. Just on camera, 
I can't, I know there's like a void in here and it's pitch black and I've got my hand just where the edge of the little bit of light is and I'm just waiting for me to go off the camera like that. Are any of the families who used to live here down here with us? Any members of staff? Tell us the name of the road that we're on. You maybe try and give us a year that you were here in this building. Your name? Oh, that was it. That light's gone off now. Spidey sense is tingled then. <laughs> Obviously looking around the light, the centre light's gone off. <laughs> Are you standing next to me? Like a whisper. Mm. Anything belongs to you down here? Chill has just kicked back in. All oh, right. Sorry, I <laughs> but it was like Adam louder looking. than the S box. I can so. see Adam looking that way, so. <laughs> and he's looking into darkness as well. Mm. Is that where you are? You'll find out. Is that you'll find out? To me, it sounds like you'll find out. Okay, so essentially you've got a, a playful female, that's good. Five. So, are you down here? Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the 
people that are here now see things in that room. Is that you? I thought I said join me as well. Okay, so Symbol, symbol. I wasn't paying attention or looking, sorry. I'm sure that's symbol. I was given the room to walk into. Don't mean any harm or any disrespect. I'm just here to have a conversation. If you do want to make yourself known. <laughs> If you want to make yourself known, mm. <laughs> I've got me stuff on the bottom of the chair, so. <laughs> yeah, so that was probably the, one of the most frustrating SBOX sessions because it, it, it sounded like there were so many clear words that came yeah. out of it, but I couldn't understand like one of them. There was a couple yeah, of exactly. little phrases I picked up, but there were so many that seemed to be so clear, but I had no idea what yeah. it said. And it is frustrating because you get the impression that there's a spirit that's going, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you, know, you asked me name, I've told you that, you asked me age, I've told yeah. you that. And it's like, how many times, guys, do we do I edit an episode and I flash something up that is so relevant? Mm. And you're probably looking at it going, that Why pair of idiots that, yeah. pick up on that and follow that yeah. line of questioning. It's just that, and you know when you've been to the events, guys, it's so difficult in the initial hearing of it. I get to listen back and slow it down and things like that and make a lot more sense of it. I'm excited to listen back to this one because it, there's definitely a female down here or females down here that were, um, that were happy to see us and, and not for that reason, obviously. We're married men. You know, they know that. They can see the ring. You know, morals were better in those days. Um, but not just because I think we give off that personable vibe and I think a lot of the men that they maybe had to deal with in life didn't treat them in that way and I like to think that's why we do get a lot of good interaction with females although we do get told by the odd stern elderly female to get out. Interesting thing is as well um, looking slight bits up was the amount of you know, people that came over from like Portugal and Finland and America to actually come and work around in, the, in these gardens yeah. and the parks. Obviously, you know, Birkenhead Parks and we stones throw away as well. Um, I think it was the 1851 census that was took and they did have all these different sort of nationalities of people that did come over here to work and sort of shows up. Like prestigious and affluent this area was, that yeah. it was just attracting all kinds of people that didn't want to come to Birkenau to work. Can you maybe give us some sort of sign if you're here with us now? Maybe try and make a noise? Or throw something? Or bang on something? Maybe try and close the door over. Touch one of the devices that's on the floor or on the table. What was that? What was that? Oh, yeah, I heard it. Like a, did you not see the flash? I seen flash as well, yeah. Panic then? It was like a blue sort of massive flash. Yeah, because I did see it. Down, yeah. You must have got that ping on camera if you were pointing down. 
obviously you might not pick it up during that vision, but but I, I, I seen something kind of heard it. No, but I know what you mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, as, as you guys always, uh, I can't even say, you know, for anyone who's watching this for the first time, I'll switch the IR lights off because there's there's a, there's one plugged in in the corner that'll make no difference. But, you know, apart from one little firelight above Adam's head there, it's pitch black. Oh, that was the K2, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, but the K2 flicked... The K2 flick just after. The K2 flick just. That as well. I mean, that for me, it just shows that it definitely wasn't the K2 because I can. Distinguish that. Anyway, You're looking at it. Was looking so yeah. Here, and the, the flash was definitely behind, as well as the noise. That was weird. I mean, obviously, we'll you know stay here for another five, ten minutes anyway. But just to sort of see if that does replicate. But okay, too. Do you know what's good about the K2 though is that it's not constant. Mm. It's not like every six seconds a little flicker. And we that's always say that. Really requires, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, that's the important thing with the K2 guys. It's what we keep saying when you know we know some of you guys use them as well. If you've got a constant flicker, um, you know, it, it it does mean you've got to look at what are you actually looking at. Um, yeah, those go off after ten seconds. They stay on. But, oh, hello. No, I'm in flight mode. Because I was just about to get. I was just about to put the spirit talker on. Or suggest to put the spirit talker on. But again, that's really frustrating because it'd be like, oh, you took your phone out. Yeah. So with that, even though, you know, we're in flight mode. That was you, can you do that again for us please? Just to show that you are here. See, it's quite interesting though that the temperatures fluctuating mm. when we've been in here for a long time now. And everyone's watched us walk down them stairs to see how far away, right down the other end of that corridor is where we've come down the stairs, guys. So it's not like someone's opened the door and caused the draft or anything that's coming down to this end. Okay, two again. right next to that device and make the lights go all the way up maybe 
maybe just touch that device. The children play games. Children play games. That's what we like. Mischievous children. Are there any children here? We brought some new toys for you to play with. Thank you. Because yeah, the chances are, mate, I mean, spirits of any children here have never seen this type of kit before. Yes, no one has seen this type of kit before that's, because yeah, no one's been here. That's what I mean. So ordinarily, where we film, yeah. and you be believe that the spirits are there, then they, you know, and they are intelligent spirits. They've seen these things before. And know know the crack basically. Go back to then you go back to basics. So okay, so there's some little little balls on the floor. You can see they light up and they roll. And this device here. If you I hate when I did. And what I hate I hate when I what. What I did. Wow, okay. So, you know. That's like dipping down into sort of the secret where we are. Yeah, isn't it? that's something we've never had before. You can see, I'm shaking a few of these devices. Danger. Danger. I know, I hate what I did. Danger. Are we in danger? Or are we you in danger? Or are you the danger? I mean, I hate what I did, and then danger. And this is the thing, it's, you know, for everybody watching as well, we need to remember the history, the historical layers of this house, mm -hmm. rather than just, you know, the surroundings we're sat in now. Years of history. Yeah, exactly. Show. Show. You show yourself to us. Maybe try and stand in the middle of the room or next to one of the objects that's on the floor. Or maybe that was you before showing yourself down the corridor. Maybe that flash of light. That we saw. Cross. Cross. Well, I mean, I mean, I know it's like, you know, that the lodge is a, it's non-political, non-religious, is it? It's the, it's the belief of a, um, superior, a superior being. being. That's it. Wants to get me word and correct there. So the cross wouldn't more mean anger here in the current surroundings than religious. Is that true? Are you, are you cross? Are you angry? Are you angry at us? And what we're doing? Are you angry about what happened to you? And again, the fact that we're not moving, we're keeping an ambient temperature down here. So sometimes you know, it's just like, there's coincidences and then it's just like... She's here. It's just so like on point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like there's a fluctuation. Kate, again, she's here. Thank you. And as people have seen, mate, if, if that was carrying on all the time, we'd reset it. Yeah. Because we're not going to sit there and go, oh, wow, there's a spirit that just won't leave that REM pod alone. 
and some some of them throw away a temperature change and go well the light. Jessica. Jessica, there we go. Okay, hi Jessica. It's a beautiful name. So there's a little boy here, and there's also a female, a woman called Jessica. Is that true? She's dangerous. Oh Christ! So okay. you think it's just like. You think we're on a nice little family vibe. I know, yeah. Go strictly back to. Can I just quickly say I still think it's a beautiful name. <laughs> so, pick on him. K two again. Uh, she's got danger, and she's dangerous. And cross. Cross. No. Issues anyway. Yeah. Did something happen to you here? Did somebody do something to you here? Okay. I can see why they did say this is a room some of them don't feel comfortable in when they have meetings. Mm -hmm. I think the more the longer you, the more time you spend down here, it seems to get heavier. Yeah. Like something might be sort of just looking at what you're doing from the distance. Glynis. Glynis? Glynis, another name. It's a much older name. It's set compared to Jessica. Okay, okay can you step away from that piece of equipment now? Step away from that box and maybe move over into the corner. Use your energy on the other one with the green light. Nasty. Am I nasty for asking you to step away from the toy and you're enjoying it? See now it's like who's nasty, Jessica or Glynis? Jessica, are you still here? Okay. See, it's that situation now of mm. are we interacting or are we just going with I mean, Casey is flashing away over in the corner, but. We hear you. Well, that's good. I mean, it is often a question I, I do put forward, mate. It's can they see us or can they just hear us? Hmm. I think. Huh. It, what did I say? Paul. Paul. I mean, just for the clarity of, because that's been, obviously this camera will get me doing this, I'm just going to reset the temperature. So that has reset the temp on it. And I'll get back into where I was. And just for anyone wondering why I would do that, it's, it's literally let it calibrate itself again now to the room. Um, because sometimes it can get a little bit carried away with itself and we don't want to be feeling like we're interacting. And in reality, it has just reacted to, maybe there has been a sudden, maybe it's going, it's getting a bit later now, maybe down here it does get colder. Fatal. Proper sort of like... Very sinister, isn't it? Going with a, a narrative of just... Some dark shit's gone on down here, like. And, and a female doing it. 
that's what it's all leaning towards, isn't it? There's a female that's that's resided here that's got away, it potentially got away with some shit. Because this would have been the side of the building as well, wouldn't it? In conjunction to where we've just done the introduction. Yeah. That would have been the front of the building, so the street would have had the road would have had a completely different layout anyway. Because obviously you know, next. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ, okay. I want me to leave you alone with Chris. <laughs> You're next, so she's getting angry, it's like, it's like she's getting arsey. Mm -hmm. You're next, come on then. If you think you're, um, you're so powerful. That's probably a good time to flip that round. So, if I'm next, Then what is it you intend to do? Can you move something? Can you throw something? Can you shout? Can you bang? Must be frustrating. We're not bad. <laughs> We're not bad. Flash on K2. So we understand that with the children that are here and, and the other spirits that are here. It has become clear there's one female spirit. And we hope you're, yes, thank you on the key too. So Sickness we hope, took me. Sickness took me. It did. It did it. You know, like, you know, you've seen the film Sixth Sense mm. and that poor, that poor girl. And it turns out it's the stepmom. Oh, spoiler alert. Yo. <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now, yo. But, yo, is that how she was doing it? You know what I mean? That would have been an easy way for this, someone, you know, a, a, for a female. Poisoning but it was rife, wasn't it, back in the, uh, the 1800s? Because it was, it, it, they couldn't detect it. Yeah, K2 going off the telly here. So maybe were you poisoned? Yeah, K2, yeah. So you were poisoned by the woman. Can you tell us the name of the woman who poisoned you? Or can you tell us yes or no? Did she live here? Or did you know, yeah, did she live here? Was this her home? Trust me. Trust me, okay. This is proper messing with your head, this, isn't it? You know, Trying to think, because obviously if it was... You're next, I'm doing you in. And they trust me. And again, like there's a child here as well, and the, the yeah. child was the first one that sort of popped through. And that's what I mean. It's you know, and we apologise that we're getting confused because you know we know there are many of you here. Yeah, massive flash. Then. So for the children, you know, please follow us around, keep us company. I think. Uh, I think enough antagonising down here, mate. I think here. Uh, I think if there is a female, nasty female spirit down here, I think it's uh, we've done a bit of winding up there because you want to like that. I like the way you said we, you, you've done a bit of winding up. <laughs> this haunted scouse is a team. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> no way, your solo is going to be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, I think. As much as we'd love to spend all night here, guys, it's a... Uh, did I just say love? Say luck. 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 There you go. We locked in. You just said that, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Once one of us on their own, and I think it's... Uh, 
I think it's you. So. I mean, because <laughs> we've got a camera rolling here. Do we leave me in here for ten minutes now, or do we do it later? Yeah. Okay. And at least if, if, we, if we keep it, so if you have a look on your screen, once I've done 10, 10 minutes, 15 max. Oh. We're standing around you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. Time to leave so, there then. Oh. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so if you want to spin that round, then we'll explain to the guys what we're doing. Now. Now, <laughs> now. okay, he's going. Right, okay. So we're standing around you now. What we've decided is to do something we've never done before on Haunted Scouse guys and Adam is going to take this handheld camera and he's going to go back upstairs and... I need to change the lights and stuff anyway so yeah, that probably yeah, takes exactly. a while. So, it's, um, so I'll find out what he's been up to when he's here. He's probably going to go and get a pint from behind the bar or something known him. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to stay in here because I'm doing the antagonising and we're around you and now and yeah. Anyway. Uh -huh. There you go. Lovely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. Lovely. That was proximity that as well. <laughs> that noise was green, wasn't it? Good luck. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> right, you've got me by myself now. <laughs> me and you. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ashes. Ashes. So you were cremated. Yes, thank you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Free. Free. Wow, well, okay, it's coming through. You know. Fast and furious now. So you have learned how to use this equipment then? Abandon hope. Abandon hope. Why like is this first rodeo? You never piss off a woman. Idiot. Still here with me. Hey, back. Right, just gonna put you down here just whilst I tidy up and then we'll go for a little wander. I can about another five minutes and then we'll go down. See guys, um, Adam's phone locked, so I've had to switch Spirit Talker to my one. Um, so same app, same flight mode. Much colder. So I moved the device over here now. Happened to you on the road? Yeah, the first, the first beating room is just behind me there. The second one is just a little bit further down the corridor here. But I mean, so far, what a fantastic location! And I mean, if you're wanting to actually come and do your own paranormal investigations here, that's what these guys want now. So they want you to sort of inundate them and say can we come here and can we investigate the building so please do get in touch with them uh, on Clifton Road uh, they've got a website you can hit them up on Facebook uh, but yeah if you do want to hire the building uh, please make sure that you get in touch with them 
and also whilst you're doing that and you're online make sure that you've hit that subscribe button for us get yourselves back over to YouTube give us one of them and uh, yeah hope you're enjoying it so far and uh, check out some of the merch that we've got as well and uh, also consider the channel membership it's loads on there okay back to the episode I'm just going to change this angle slightly guys just so just so you can see the door because I want to make sure are you sure saying? I am saying you asked me to because the light's gone off underneath the door now and if Adam comes up, if anything knocks on that door, the sensor lights will come on and they'll light up underneath there. So that's why I've changed that angle. My friend's staying as well. They're staying for a good few hours. So can you knock on something, bang on something? Female that was here that was making the threats. Hello? Have you gone now that I'm here all alone? Maybe you're not so brave after all. Okay, if there's anybody up here with me now, can you give me some sort of sign? Maybe set one of the devices off Hi, that's in one of the rooms. John. Maybe the device that's next to me on the floor. Yeah, I need to go back down now and get Chris. Um, so it's been, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Um, this is where I would love it if it was interactive because I'd put up a little uh, poll up on the screen now to go, should I go down and get Chris sensibly or should I shit him up and bang on the door? Hmm, which one? Which one? Really? Oh, you're horrible, you are. Come on then. Yes, okay, okay. So come on then. If I'm in danger, I don't usually antagonize spirits because I'm very, very respectful. But on this occasion, you seem to be antagonizing. You seem to be pushing, you seem to be thinking you are all powerful. Yeah, K2. Is that the biggest burst of energy you can give? Come on, keep going. If you want me to be scared, you have to like this up, this up, and this up. Lisa, tears. Last chance you can change your mind. You're sticking with the original, honestly. You lot are so mean. Can't believe you're making me do this. Did somebody upset you, Lisa? Please don't be afraid of me. You've got nothing to be scared of from me, Lisa. So I hope your tears on because I am frightening you because I apologise. My name is Chris. I don't mean you any harm. I want to help protect you. Why, why were there tears? Uh, 
Hallo? Do you like Satan? <laughs> I'm sure to believe in it, yeah. <laughs> right on cue <you>, that. <laughs> right interrupt. Lots of really good interaction on that, that K2 though. Yeah. And I'm, when we view this, that definitely as you shut that door sounded like that, you know, I'll do it now, that a good old that's yeah, I heard it. Uh, I just, I, I just assumed like, that you must have no, gone there. near it. Literally, was there. Yeah. And the camera will show it, but really, that though you walk in and say, "Do you like Satan?" <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do, but you know, luckily for me, there, guys, I had just peered over at that camera and thought, "Was that a little?" You know, it looked like I could see the light underneath it because it changed the angle. <laughs> Pointing out, I said, just so you guys, if anything bangs on that door, if the, if you see the shaft of light under the door, so I turned it just for that clarity. Um, oh yeah. Movie um, trap. Oh yeah. Fucking whoever, whoever it is that down here, you wind me up. So yeah. Yeah. So we just uh, refreshed uh, a couple of batteries and uh, a couple of lights as well, and uh, we thought we'll. We've sort of done what we want to do downstairs, and it's time to get up here and sort of see what uh, what the top level of, uh, of Clifton Road has, uh, has got to offer yeah. the, the Masonic Lodge. Where the majority of the kit has been sitting all night. Again, guys, you know we don't. Um, but yeah, these are these rooms are just they're just magnificent to walk in. They're brilliant, and yeah. there's, uh, there's an experiment that I've sort of got in the back of my mind that maybe we might try as well, which I think will be. Uh, Really, sort of lend itself well to to uh, the environment that we're in yeah. and, uh, and both rooms as well. So, but yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll sort of see how, how time kind of ticks away on that one. But from this angle, it look, looks like you're about about to give a fucking belt a DJ set. Yeah, do you know on the night vision it looks uh, it looks like like you walked into a, like an Egyptian temple. <laughs> if there is anybody here, past or present, my name's Adam, this is Chris. Hi. We're just here to explore the building. We put a number of objects and devices around. If you maybe can go next to one of them, or light it up, it will let us know that you're here. We can communicate with you. Right guys, so yeah, new piece of kit just down here on the floor. Everything you see it lights up there, it's called a thermal tracker. So just like when we, we use our REM pods and the REM pods light up, what the thermal tracker does, it has coloured LEDs within that grid that you can see there and it's made by a company called Phantom Physics so thanks to Chris and the guys there as well um, what it does it lights up based on the proximity of a hot or cold source there is anybody in this room now can you give us some sort of sign that you're here What do you mean, just here? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to move it across in case anyone says that that was me. Twice now I've heard a tap or a knock in this corner. If that was you, can you get that again? If that was you, can you do that again for us now, please?
It was now time to set up our experiment in the two temple rooms, but not before we capture the very strange light anomaly in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, moving from right to left. I think it is, has been a little bit quieter up here, um, so maybe it's time to maybe try an experiment of some sort. So I'm thinking that what we'll do is one of us will stay in this room, one of us will go in the other room, and instead of just doing the usual kind of split, you know, you take that room, you take that room, is that we'll put a chair in the middle of the room, and then we'll sit down and we'll be blindfolded as well. Because then I think taking our, one of our senses away might sort of heighten us up, might maybe make us feel that little bit more. Same thing happens if I do that. I've just well, took my go. senses away. Took your glasses off. I'm glad to tell you things I've got some anyway. So, <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, it's something different. Um, you know, not might happen. Maybe we'll both simultaneously run a spirit talker as well and see if we get sort of similar words and maybe try and have a conversation that way or. I don't know, it's just something that maybe we could try. Yeah, and it's the, obviously guys, you've seen us use the blindfolds with the headphones and the Estes method. This is just taking away the Estes method. Yeah. So let's uh, take 20 minutes now to put my blindfold on because we're, we're not messing the hair up. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's set up the next scene. Before Chris even entered the room where he was going to do his lone vigil, the cat ball started to activate, followed by two knocks. Right, so, we're using our phones only as a timer guys. As you can see, got cat balls all around, REM pod, and thermal tracker, which I put them next to because they both got the temperature thing on, so I'm interested to see if they fluctuate at the same time. And another REM pod down here, surrounded by cat balls, and as we said, we're not going to use any kit, um, literally. It is down to just removing one of our sensors and seeing how we get on. So, yeah, hat off. The old glasses off. I'll put them over there. I mean, that's nearly enough for me to not be able to see anything. So if there is anybody in here with me now, I've made myself extremely vulnerable. 
Maybe that's something that you like. My name's Chris. Am I speaking to any of the family that maybe used to live here? I hope you don't mind me visiting. <coughs> so, <laughs> this is Eva. The best idea that I ever had, or it's the most stupidest idea that I've ever had. But we've got very, very similar setups. REM pods, cat balls, K2s. We've got sort of a lot dotted around us. We're going to isolate ourselves in the middle of the room. So usually, you know, when we walk in the room, we're filming back up against the wall. That's all the protection here. Already a <laughs> little uncomfortable about what might be behind me. Uh, but to add to that, um, we're going to blindfold ourselves. So, yeah, something, something new, something interesting. Obviously, I'll keep asking questions. Um, and yeah, if anything starts to light up or go off, obviously, unless it's a REM pod, I'm not going to be able to sort of see it and be able to hear it. But, um, yeah, so let's see how we go on. Ten past. All right. Okay. What's the hell? Okay. Okay. So if there's anybody in here with me now, can you maybe try and touch one of the vices that's on the floor? I don't mean you any harm, I don't mean you any disrespect. But we're here now to try and communicate with you. Can you maybe try and make a noise somewhere in the room so I can hear you? Maybe try and set one of the devices off, or touch one of them, or make them light up. Maybe you can show yourself to me. Obviously not to me, because I can't see you, but maybe to the camera that's just in front of me. Have you just come into the room? The year for me is 2024. If you can hear me, maybe that's surprising to you. Maybe the year for you is 18 something or 19 something. go towards a piece of the equipment that's around me, it will light up and it will make a noise. Maybe you could come and hold my hand. If you do, I apologise if I jump. Again, this is a good game. If there are any children here, we'll call this, let's, let's make Chris jump. Okay. Wow, that was loud next to me then, and I was just going to say I could 
their movements on this side of me, guys. Okay. Now it feels a little bit different in here. And the whole point of this experiment is that we don't remove our blindfolds no matter what. So what is going to be going on on these cameras, we won't know until I review the footage. But that was a noise to this side of me, so thank you if that was you. Can you copy me? Tap me on the shoulder, on the leg. Seems to be a lot of females in this building. Is there any females in this room? Can you maybe come forward and make yourself known? If you just touch my leg, can you do that again? There's one thing that you can do in here, or maybe in the other room with Chris, can you try and do it now for us please? Are there any of the children here that were downstairs before? Maybe you followed us upstairs, maybe you can come and play with the devices that are on the floor. Maybe go near one, touch one of them. Is that you I can sense? Again, the noise on this side, guys.
It's not the thing as well, guys, with this. It's trying to imagine how long is 10 minutes? Right, okay guys, so that was actually even 12 minutes and I don't know whether Adam will be speaking on his camera now. But, yeah, I've got to say, Mr. Billing, the young man, come up with a good experiment there, because that was, um, definitely heard a couple of noises over this side. And this is where I thought I felt the vibe. Oh God. So thank you if you were here and were interacting. Thank you if you have been interacting tonight. But it's actually time for us to leave soon. And we hope you don't mind if we come back. So that's the end of our episode tonight here on uh, Clifton Hall on Clifton Road in Birkenhead. Uh, what are your thoughts, mate? Well, I mean, guys, you might have noticed we have finished in the room where we seem to get that that story going, and mm. and I'm intrigued to watch back. Did that REM pod go off just before Adam locked me in? Because this this level has a sinister feel to it. The longer you spend down here, you come down at first, great, it's just, it's a basement, it's seats, which is always good. Then the longer we were down here, and we used that spirit talk, and it, it changed. Yeah, definitely. Uh, from what I thought down here would be like, it just completely did a sort of 180, and was so different, but for, for a lot of really, really good reasons. and. And I, I trying to explain what that light was out there as well. It yeah. just sort of flashed up and lit in the room. It wasn't in the room, it was out the room. That's sort of been a first for us. It's never happened before. Uh, I mean, I could probably only really compare it to when we were in the Epstein. Uh, and yeah. We, sort of those, that, we could see yeah, the lights yeah. on the floor, guys. But, mm -hmm. but luckily we captured that one only because he walked off the stage the wrong way. But we did capture that one light. That, that is really what it was like, mate. Yeah. And it's good sometimes, guys. Even though it might not show up on the cameras when I watch the review, the, when I review the footage, we've experienced something together that doesn't happen very often. So no, fingers crossed. Obviously, when we went upstairs as well, we did something very, very separately where we both split into two separate rooms and did uh, a similar experiment. Fingers crossed that again we don't know until we review the lock offs and. Uh, if anything was flashing or making noises or there's probably ghosts tap dancing or whatever you want to say in front of the camera but at least that's something to look forward to yeah back. it pains me to say it again guys and i did say it upstairs that wasn't a bad idea from the young and that it was it was it was more interesting rather than have a spirit talk or spitting out words and you go with the narrative of that just sitting there and we still haven't got a clue what was happening around us but it was it was it was quieter upstairs yeah. But I think because 
when you come into a lot of mansion houses like these, you go upstairs and it might be there might be a bit of dereliction, but you've still got the original layout. Now you know for a fact in here that you, the layout is being adjusted to turn it into the lodge and into the Masonic Hall. So it's a um, it is it's a it's an intriguing one for sure. It is, and it was the very first one that's ever happened here. So like you said at the start, we are the very first paranormal team to come in here and conduct a full investigation. So who knows the next time someone comes or the next time we come back what we've sort of unearthed. I think we've definitely scratched the surface down here. Upstairs probably might need a little bit more work, but um, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, thank you so, so much to the guys for contacting us and letting us in to, to film this and uh, to basically promote uh, this venue because what these guys want is they want paranormal teams in, they want events here, so they want you at home to put your hand in your pocket, get onto them via the website or drop us a Facebook message and we will put you in touch with them. Um, but yeah, I think definitely maybe a small event here could be possible. Yeah with our, our gang at some points, but um, yeah, I really want to maybe spend a bit more time down here. And, yeah, it's yeah. like we keep saying it guys, and we've got such a long list now of we need to go back, we need to go back, and then you guys watch the episodes and go, you need to go back, <laughs> and the list is that long now. I think we got through at one point the word scroll. I think <laughs> that's what this list has turned into. This is another place where we've scratched the surface, mm. and that's good. You know, when you get into these places as the first team, Manor Farm was another one, you scratch the surface, you come away thinking, that was great, and then you watch it back and you go, oh mate, we need to go back, and I think this is going to be another place, he's made up if we do, because it's two minutes away from his house. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and with that, I've got a long drive home, now. so uh, unfortunately that's the end of the episode. Uh, last thing to say is, if you haven't already, Make sure just here you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And as always, after the episode finishes, please leave a comment, timestamp anything. We reply to all comments, both positive and negative. Yeah. Um, YouTube just loves the interaction, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, guys, some of you have been leaving some brilliant comments with the timestamps in, and we love that. And I see we get back to you as quickly as we can. But the, the lately, you have been so good at leaving comments. We do apologise if we're taking a day or two to get back to you. It is just there. Uh, I mean, YouTube, you all know they are buggers for giving us notifications that you guys have left us a comment. As well as, we know they let you down sometimes on letting you know that we've actually got an episode listed to premiere. So all we would say is make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok as well. Because we, on Twitter, we, can, we do share the links on there as well, and they are a lot better. Of look, yeah, sorry, it's X now, isn't it? They are a lot better at giving you notifications, but the Facebook one's the main page for us guys. So make sure if you're watching this on YouTube and you do have a Facebook account, go and find us on Facebook and give us a follow. Because all the information for everything we do is always posted on there with a lot of extra content that we can't put onto YouTube. Like with the guys uh, uh, here from the Masonic Lodge, they dropped us an email and we got back to them. And yeah, we're investigating within a couple of weeks. So, if there is anywhere that you guys want to recommend, or if there is anybody that thinks, wow, you know, I'd love Haunted Scouts to come in and give my location Haunted Scouts treatments, drop us an email as well. Yeah, as Adam said, that is, that is how we get into places. You know, 2024 is going to be a huge year for this channel and you're all coming along for the ride with us and if you've got a venue that you want to include in that let us know so well, that's it for tonight and uh, as always we'll see you on the next one yeah take care guys thanks so